Hi, this is Cheryl here, and I wanted to continue with the little mini series of activating your canvas for abstract art. There are more than five. There's a lot of different ways that artists will get their paintings started, but I have found these five have really given me the inspiration to keep going. So as we went over with the supplies, and I have a table here of the different uh, mark making um, tools that I use to get the canvas started, I thought I would just come over to the canvas. This is um, a good good uh, one and a half inch um, gallery wrap canvas. I haven't put any gesso, I haven't done anything on it. I like the rawness of, of the canvas. Um, there are a lot of gessos that you can put on here to make them a little smoother and there are times when I will put gesso on it when I'm using certain of the tools to get started. But let's just get started and I'll kind of talk you through some of the marks I'm going to do. I always like to start with just um, graphite, graphite. And I just mark all over. This is a thinner tool. My mostly marking, there's um, the art bar, kind of give it a little different color. I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing at this point, just enjoying myself. Another is a more thicker. This is actually um, the fluid acrylic with a sponge brush. Give it a little squirt there. These are the art graphs. Put them on sideways, pointed, mark through what you've already done. What's nice about these is they can be further activated with water. Beautiful colors. Here's another art graph. I do a lot of larger canvases, so this is a rather small one for me for the demonstration. This is a art crayon. Very luxurious colors. Here's um, a china marker that helps. This. this is white. Just kind of helps scrape through and move some of what I've already put on there. Um, I can. This brush, and I'll talk more about this later, is I've actually cut the bristles on there. Kind of gives it. Uh, a little bit different flow when you move your paint around with it. Purpose here is not really to make anything um, recognizable, but just to get something on your canvas. This is another of the um, aqua colors. We're just activating the canvas. It's one of the paint pens. As you can see, when you mark, uh, you have a dark area like the blues, and then you add a lighter color, the contrast is absolutely gorgeous. Let me see, here's another of the um, art crayon. Just making marks. Further 
exciting up the canvas. There's a little piece that fell off. It's, um, there's nothing that you can do that really is not correct at this particular point. It's just putting marks on the canvas, letting your imagination go almost to the point of feeling um, satisfied with just moving. This is a plein air brush. I love this brush because I've used these in a lot of pieces of um, art that at the very end where I do a lot of free strokes. But you see when you use this, it causes freedom and it gives the ability to no control, which is great at this particular point. You, you really don't want control at this point. Um, I'm not deliberately thinking about the fact that here's some purple and some blues in here. But if you, just to kind of give you a little idea, if you add like a contrasting color, even at this point, it's kind of exciting. That orange around the blue and the purple, kind of just give it a, a pop of color, continues to help me think about what it is I'm going to do next. What I'm going to do next, I don't know. At, the po at this point, this is just activating the canvas and just getting color on the canvas, getting movement on the canvas, um, getting some excitement on the canvas, just having fun. Sometimes turning the canvas at this point to give some more uh, movement, going a little bit different direction. I hope this has helped. I hope that this kind of gives you an idea of just how to jump in and get your canvas started and get some color and excitement going. In the next several slides, I've added some completing paintings of mine where I show this process of adding marks to my blank, my blank canvas. Many of the marks were completely covered up by the end of the painting, but in some of the paintings, you'll see the underlining marks that I showed you in this video that inspired my next layer, and then the next layer, and then the next. The initial marks really do provide the inspiration for me to keep going as I go through each layer. In some of these paintings, I actually have maybe five to ten layers of paint and each layer is just informed by the previous layer. I feel that's how important it is to learn the concept of starting with the marks on your blank canvas. Just because it's on the first layer doesn't mean that you'll go back to use some of the same techniques as you progress through your paintings. So I hope that this video has helped you to inspire you to go out there and create some beautiful paintings and art and just to enjoy the process.